everyone, this is Anthony Smoke. Go and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. As always, if you learned something, go ahead and hit that like, leave a comment, and make sure you ring the bell so you get the notification when I drop a new video. So today, back in Tableau, I know it's been a minute since I dropped a, a video. Uh, I've just been really busy. I have been really busy. We'll just leave it at that. But I am back and we're going to talk about what I'm going to talk about in this video. What I'm going to show you is how to build out these quick and easy KPIs here, right? I'm not going to do a full dashboard build out here. We're going to talk about how to do these quick and easy KPIs. I really like, uh, you know, the up arrow, down arrow technique here. And I have another video on how to do a KPI with the up arrow and down arrow, but I like this uh, this technique right here, and you've got uh, kind of multiple KPIs as well. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about this dashboard, its actuals to target, and then we'll get into the uh, the KPIs. So what I'm using, I'm using an enhanced Tableau Superstore. It's really Tableau Superstore. The only difference is uh, there's a budgeted profit. So I'm really comparing budget versus, uh, I'm sorry, profit versus budgeted profit. And so this is the original um, budgeted profit in Tableau Superstore. I just renamed it uh, a ridge at the end there. And then I, I made my own budgeted profit column because I needed to change the values to make the dashboard look uh, how I wanted it uh, to, to look. So uh, going back to the dashboard, this is inspired by Keith Dykstra. So Keith Dykstra, um, I'm gonna pull up my my Twitter feed here. He put a good um, a Tableau Twitter post out here uh, on some business dashboards. If you wanna download anything in reverse engineer, you can find it here. So you can see he's got a, a business dashboard here. It's really slick. It's got some images that you hover over, um, you know, that, that really do some cool functionality. Um, I kind of I tried to simplify it a little bit and use a different data source and use the Tableau uh, Superstore data source, uh, which he does not use, but it's really slick. Definitely follow uh, Keith Dykstra. He's got some cool stuff out there if you like the business uh, dashboards like like I do. So, um, so quick functionality on this. You can see I've got uh, KPI selection. So I've got a region for my KPI selection. We can change that to category, right? The, the region changes to category based upon the parameter. And also, if you notice, right, we have kind of um, uh, different, we've got the, the region moved here, and then I've got a sub uh, breakout uh, by, I believe this is segment. Um, so if I change back to region up top, you'll see that this changes as well. You get the, the ship mode uh, uh, here and uh, a different breakout here. So that's what we're doing uh, with the parameters. That's something you can, uh, you can do um, that's not terribly difficult. Uh, maybe I'll peek under the hood. And then you just got filters on, on your year. That's, uh, you know, that's, that's fairly simple. No, no big deal there. Um, we come over here. Whoops, let me just uh, go into this mode right here. We come into here on the button. And, you know, I've got some, some filters here. You can, you can hit these filters and they change uh, by category. And then you've got uh, kind of your states in a tree map. And what I've got, maybe I'll show this in a different video, uh, show you how to bring up kind of your top 10 cities here for each state. So the Vizin tooltip, I'm only showing the top 10 uh, cities if it has uh, 10 cities for each state. So that requires a technique in and of itself. I wanted to put that uh, in there. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, buttons provided by the uh, the Flurlage twins. They've got a really cool um, a PowerPoint book out there with full of buttons. So I, so I leverage that. And then also here, let me just pick a couple, um, uh, couple filters. Let's look at Cali furniture. Um, and then, you know, the reset filters, I've got a video that shows you how to reset all your filters, right? You click a button and you reset all your filters. So a uh, pretty cool, uh, dashboard that I threw together here your top three most profitable products. Again, that's using the same technique that I showed you on the tree map. Um, I'll show that in another video, uh, perhaps. But let's get into these KPIs here. Uh, I wanna show you how you can build out these quick and easy uh, KPIs. Thanks for listening to me uh, drone on about the uh, the dashboard. So let's, let's get in here. So the first thing that you'll need to do 
is set up a parameter. So, you know, you'll create a parameter and I have it already pre-created. We're going to go in here. I'll show you. I call it KPI selection and it's a string and we're going to type in category and region. Those are the two uh, values we're going to have in this uh, in this uh, parameter. So you're either going to select a category. The, the KPI is going to be based off of a category or a region, uh, as we saw earlier, right? So you set that up. And then we're going to create a calculated field called selected column. Remember, your KPIs, I can show, I'm sorry, your parameters, I can show the parameter. Your parameters don't do anything until they are passed to a, a calculated field. So selected column, you're going to build that out, right? In case you don't know, create a calculated field. I have it pre-created. And we're going to call that uh, selected column. Let's take a look at it. And so we're using a case statement. So depending upon what is selected here, if I select category, right, then I'm going to um, show the category. And I have upper around here just to make it uppercase. If region is selected here, then we're going to, then selected column is going to be region. Fairly straightforward, right? I think that's that's fairly straightforward. Uh, so let's drag selected column right to columns, and you'll see, right? I have some some values here, right? Category and region. See how that changes? Let's just do this. Let's go entire view right here. <laughs> okay. Let's do that for now. And then let's also drag the uh, the sum of profit to columns. So I'm going to take profits, uh, if I can find it. Oh, in measures, of course, take profit. Let's also put that on columns. All right, thank you, Dell. And we end up with something like this until I change this to discrete. And now we have values here. So we have our selected column and then we have values as uh, well. Uh, next thing you're gonna do, we're gonna create a calculated field that's gonna let us know if we are profitable or not, right? So I've already done that. I've called, it's a Boolean. I've called it uh, profitable and it should be in here somewhere. Here, let's just do this. There it is, profitable. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. So what's going on here? My profits must be larger than the budgeted profit and greater than zero. So I'm comparing profits to budgeted profit. And so this basically lets me know it's a true false. Am I profitable or not? Right? Well, let me let me restate that. Are my profits better than my budgeted profit and positive? Right? That's a better way to say it. Are my profits better than my budgeted profits and positive? So that's what's going on there. And then what I can do, I can take profitable and put it on color. And you'll see I get these, these marks here, <laughs> right? Okay, these, uh, these huge blocks uh, going on. And so now, right, we're going to create a calculated field that's going to tell me the difference, the percent difference I'm away, my profits are away from the budget, right? So I already have that. And then, you know, again, let me just put this back in here. My percent uh, budget percent difference. Let's take a look at that. You're going to create that. All this is is your profits minus your budgeted profits in the numerator divided by your budgeted profit. And I'm doing the absolute absolute value here. So uh, so you're so you're positive. Um, well, so so that your denominator is uh, is positive. So we're going to say okay there. So we have that uh, set up as well. Um, now, now let's do a little formatting, right? So first of all, let's make this a, let's go in here. Let's do a bold, uh, whoops, Tableau medium. Let's yeah, Tableau medium's fine. We'll bold this, make it uh, black and then go 14, something like that. All right. That stands out. All right. Let's go ahead and format the, uh, the profits here. I'm going to go to format. In the header here, let's make this uh, let's make this black. Let's make this bold. I like Tableau medium. Let's do something like 36. Uh, that may be a little too big. Let's go 32. Right? We need to make those uh, these bands big and audacious. So yeah, I think that's that's good right there. Size that up a little bit. Okay. And so now, uh, what I want to do is I want to bring in 
our budget uh, percent difference. Let's put that on the label. So that gets rid of our boxes and that puts these values here. So how do we get this? How do we get this formatted? Um, you know, where I have my my above uh, target with the up arrow and my below target with the down arrow here. So I think this is really cool. Obviously the profitable colors that, but I think this is cool. So um, if we take a look at the, uh, the budget percent difference, I'm gonna go over here to default properties, the number format, and this is, this is cool. This is what I learned from deconstructing uh, the dashboard that I picked up from Keith. I, I, I kind of like this right here in custom you can format your um, your numbers here. So for positive, this is how I want my positive number formatted, right? I want an up triangle um, with one decimal place in, in percentage, right? And then for my, um, for my negative, I want the down triangle, same format, uh, you know, one decimal for percentage, and if it's the same, no difference. And so you can cut and paste uh, triangle, from, um, you know, if you go to Wikipedia and search for Unicode, you know, there will be, uh, you know, triangle symbols, but you can, you can cut and paste these in. So I like this format. I have another video, you know, that, that talks about how to do the same thing, but it requires three different fields uh, in order to get the up, down, no difference. The advantage of the three different fields is you can color them differently depending upon if it's up, down, or no difference. Um, but the advantage of this way is that, um, you know, it's, it's all in just formatting. You don't have to create three fields. And then you can still affect the color, right, with a Boolean, which I'm doing here with, the, uh, with that is profitable, right? So I like this. I, I kind of like this, uh, this formatting right here. So all we have to do now is just kind of just format things, right? So, um, you know, let's, let's format this right here. I can go in here, I can format uh, again. Uh, we'll go to format, uh, let's see the header, uh, worksheet, sorry, worksheet. We can make that bold if we want to. Um, oops, is that, am I in the right area? Formatting always gets me. Yeah, I think I'm in the right area here. So let's make that bold. Um, let's make this, um, let's make this 12. Let's size that up. Yeah, size that up to 12 a little bit, right? And then uh, we can actually, well, no, I think I'm going to leave it like this. This is this is good right here. Um, I'm going to take off entire view. Let's just go with standard right now. So I just went entire view so you could kind of see the whole thing here. Um, actually, I could do fit, um, fit with, something like that. There we go. All right, so let's keep it like that for, for, for now. I could do entire view uh, when I put this on the dashboard, but uh, we're not gonna do that. So let's go in here. Again, it's all about kind of, uh, if I go on the, the text here, let's put that in the middle, right? I like that. Uh, and there we go. So I'm just gonna hide this for now. And then you can keep it like this. If you like this formatting, uh, you know, feel free to keep it like this. Uh, I'm gonna go in here, let's go and format and we can turn off some, we can turn off the column, we can say none here, that gets rid of that. Um, we can go row dividers, none. And so you end up with something like this. I mean, this really is the finished product. Uh, we will play with the tool tips a little bit. I am a little, little lazy, so I'm just going to cut and paste here. I'm gonna add the difference from budget. So we created this difference from budget um, let's go ahead and edit this. I'll show you the sum of profit minus the sum of budgeted profit. It's just the difference, right? If you create that, throw that on the tool tip. Now I go in the tool tip. All right, so it's got stuff there. I'm kind of lazy. Let's just do something like this. All right, and that works. If I say okay and come back in, there you go. So if you don't know, you know, you can hit insert and just pull in you know, selected uh, column, I could, I could bring that in, you know, I could, I could insert anything I want. I was just kind of cut and paste because I had this built out already, but I do want to make this, let's make this a little bit bigger, make that stand out, make it bold and say, okay. So now when I go in here, it shows East, my profits, 91,000, uh, my difference from the, uh, 
uh, dollar difference from the budgeted profit is 14 down negative 14.7 K and that is down 13.9 percent and so that happens uh, you know this rinse and repeat for each one of my regions and then obviously if I select category that's going to change as well so you have the power of uh, interactivity with the parameter so again quick easy um, KPIs here uh, I really like this functionality right here that I didn't know about that uh, that custom uh, formatting so that's something new that I learned and, and hopefully you learned it as well and so again I'm not gonna do the whole like I said dashboard build out but you know maybe my next video I did get some questions about how do I how do I drill into or let me not go here let's go to this one how do I drill into uh, a territory so if I'm in the West I can drill in there and I can see uh, which states are above profit and which ones are below kind of same thing for region you kind of drill in uh, here with, um, with parameter action so maybe that'll be my next uh, video if there's an interest in seeing that let me know but this has been Anthony Smoke hope you learned something make sure to get out there and do some great things with your data thanks for watching